Sarah, and we are two of Blondie's trainers. So Blondie is our two-toed sloth, and she is actually a Hoffman's two-toed sloth. We are training her today using some of her favorite foods, apples and sweet potatoes, but some of her favorites are melon and papaya and kiwi, all the different kinds of exotic fruit. So today we are practicing our target training with Blondie and she likes to pull that target right to her nose with her two front claws. So two-toed sloths are called two-toes because they have two claws on their front feet. They all have three claws on their back feet, so that's how you can tell the difference between a two-toed and a three-toed sloth. Sloths are very slow normally. Um, in the trees, they can go somewhat faster, but they're also very good swimmers. So you might not think that they can move too quickly, but they have that big, long arm length to help them swim in the water. And one sloth could actually spend their entire life in one tree. So females will spend their entire lives in one tree, and then males will go off to um, another tree to find their mate. So something that makes the Hoffman sloth special is they can have different number of vertebrae. So mammals have normally seven vertebrae in their neck and she actually could have between six, seven, or eight vertebrae. And that helps her to have a more flexible neck so she can see farther around her. They have four very sharp canines and so they kind of use that to hold on to their food, break off big chunks, and then they'll swallow it whole. Well, we hope you had a great International Sloth Day, and come and visit us anytime at the Emerson Children's Center.